Hey, okay, Petey here. Uh, let me introduce you to my latest um, uh, project that I'm working on. Uh, I saw uh, an idea on the internet about um, a, uh, an air conditioning system that uses uh, a desiccant um, and a natural desiccant to absorb the moisture out of the air. Uh, with air conditioning units, um, uh, about 30% I think of the electricity that's consumed is actually reducing the moisture content in the air so that then you can cool air down because, um, because cold air has less moisture in it and you can't cool it down efficiently without reducing the moisture. So, so that's where you can turn a normal air conditioner, a household air conditioner into a dehumidifier um, fairly easily. But, um, uh, but this system actually, instead of using a compressor and, and, and condensating surfaces, uh, it uses a desiccant uh, based solution to absorb moisture out of the air. And desiccants come in all kinds of forms, but obviously the cheapest and, um, uh, and most readily available one is salt. And so, uh, and salt's a natural disinfectant, so, and it's non-toxic or fairly non-toxic. I mean, if you drink a cup of salt water, that's probably gonna make you throw up, but it's not gonna poison you to death. So I thought, well, um, I've got some time in, in Vietnam. I live in Vietnam at the moment. Uh, and I'll, I'll put this project together and see whether it works. So I'll, I'll just explain the idea to you. Uh, so this is, this is it here um, with the, the, the twin towers in the middle. So on the left hand side you've got a strong uh, uh, salt rejuvenator, right? And then the two in the middle are pulling salt out of, uh, sorry, pulling moisture out of the air. And then the last one is actually a cool pipe. Now, I won't have you know, when, when this project is finished, it's gonna look a lot neater and tidier than all of that. Um, and it's not ready to go yet, but I just thought I'd introduce the idea and, and later on I might cut and paste these videos together into a much more in-depth um, analysis of it. But um, what I've got here is, is so uh, the idea is that, is that salt absorbs moisture out of the air, uh, and so in this middle one, we blow air up through here, we run down through the pipe uh, salt, strong salt solution. Now that strong salt solution pulls moisture out of the air and it ends up being a weak salt solution down the bottom here. Then, then we pull it out of here, right, as a weak salt solution. Now, the stronger salt is gonna sit on the bottom, the weaker salt's gonna be on the top, right, because fresh water sits on top of salt water. Uh, and then, so actually, it's diffused through to the strong side with, with a bit of this um, mesh, which will help to insulate the heat from one side to the other, but still allow salt diffusion through the two. So that's what I'm hoping will, will happen in there. Um, it's a prototype, so if it doesn't work, we'll fix it. Uh, but then on this side here, you, um, so when the water comes out of the bottom here, this is weak salt because it's absorbed water out of the air. That weak salt goes up onto the roof to a solar heater or through some heat source and then long as you can heat it to about 60 degrees, uh, which is well within the range of a solar hot water system, then then we pump it back down as, as hot uh, weak salt solution, right, so it's a hot weak salt solution coming down that pipe there, air's going up. Now, now the air, the air's actually introduced, I've just got one fan, right? Um, and, and I'm doing all of it with one fan because of my, my idea here, where I divert off some air with a restricted airflow through this side. And I've got a bigger fan and then I restrict some air through that side and, and the rest of the air goes up through this side. So um, I'm hoping, like, if later on I need to vary the amounts of air that go through, I'll put a, a valve in here that varies that airflow, right? But uh, at this stage we'll just see how it runs. And uh, so anyway, so strong salt, sorry, weak salt solution with, uh, that's been heated on your solar hot water, comes down this tube here, the air goes up, blows off the moisture, and that moisture then is vented to the outside, right? Um, uh, and so then you end up within the bottom here, you end up with a really strong salt solution, right? Now, 
then I tap off that strong salt solution because we want the strongest stuff, so we'll tap it off from the bottom, right? Now the strong salt solution comes back up and into the top of this first stage here, right? Oh, sorry, second stage, right? So the strong salt solution comes down there and then, so that ends up being a, a loop that goes around and around and around with that salt. Now it's connected, those two are connected with a filter in the middle, right? That, that diffuses um, the saline solution so then, so it balances. So if it's, so it will balance between those two slowly, but it's mainly to balance the water levels between all three chambers um, without uh, sending heat through, right, and without um, contaminating the level. So it should be it should be mostly strong in that one, mostly weak in this one, and and almost not quite fresh water in this one, but but freshish, brackish water because we've got another filter in here. So there's there's two restrictors to get salt through from there into here, and this is where our fresh water will come in. So if the system is using some water, right. Um, uh, which would be a good sign because it would mean that our, our, our blowing off of the moisture, we're drawing moisture out of the air and, uh, and, and we're blowing off more moisture than what we need to blow off, right? Um, so, so it might be a good sign. And uh, so anyway, so I've got a float valve in here and that's set up just to just to, to to activate to keep this water level about that high, just so then it flows through into this other pipe, right, um, as needed. Now, then this is the super cool side. So this super cool side uh, has a pipe running off of there, and it just literally goes back up to the top of the first chamber, and then runs back up to the top of the second chamber as well. So it super cools on both of these two chambers. Right. And they've just got an evaporative cooling effect, right? So, so that's the the four chambers across there. You know, there's one lot of air. We can obviously need three three water pumps to pump the saline. Uh, but but the reason for going to all this trouble is power-wise, this fan's about a. Um, and there's the no, that's a different fan. Uh, no, it's not. That's the fan there. Um, Oh no, it's not. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, I've got two of those smaller vans. I bought. I actually bought three vans to start with before I figured out that I didn't really want to use three vans. Um, and so this one here's got the hundred mil duct on it, and it's a little bit bigger. But this van here, if I look at the watts on it, what's the watts? Where's the power rating? Hmm. That van doesn't have a power rating sticker on it anymore. It must have come off. Um, anyway, uh, I I know when I was in the shop, uh, I thought it was 60 watts, but let me have a look at one of these other little ones. Uh, see that little one's got it on there, right? So you pause that video and, and look at it, but um, what does it say? Uh, let me have Yeah, so this little one says 60 watts. Right, so you've got 60 watts of, of, of cooling fan, right? Um, but maybe this one's a little bit bigger, maybe it's um, 150 watts for the bigger one. But, and then you've got uh, three water pumps, and the three water pumps are about 25 watts each. So, uh, so you're talking about 250 watts of power Right, so 250 watts of power to run this air conditioning system, and uh, and I'm not sure how effective it'll be or how big it'll be to cool this home down. Right, but rest assured, if it works great, I'll let you know. Um, but um, uh, but it um, uh, you know when you can when you compare it, if it's got any ability to cool this down, and in the testing it looked like it did by about 10 degrees, and if it's got that kind of ability, a normal household air conditioner might use 3,000 watts or 5,000 watts, and so uh, it would be a lot, lot cheaper to run a system like this. And it's mainly because your desiccant 
is a natural solution doing the hard heavy lifting of pulling the moisture out of the air and then and then your evaporative cooler is putting moisture back into the air but you still end up with the same humidity that's the idea right so you you pull the, the moisture out of the hot air in the room um, and then you uh, cool that air by by using an evaporative cooling process putting the moisture back in so you end up with a nice comfortable room not not lots of moisture and and cooler All right.